everyone and i hope you are in good health and doing well especially the law students who just had their midterm examinations and are still um, trying to recover after that now we move on to the next part or the second part of our lesson and the basic uh, rules of um, statutory construction and to recall we um, we tackled the case of Centino versus Villalon um, Pernilius and the issue there again whether the phrase charitable purposes should be construed in its broadest sense so as to include religious purpose now the Supreme Court observed that the 1987 Constitution and several other statutes treat the words charitable and religious separately and independently of each other, like in Section 28, Paragraph 3 of Article 6 of the Constitution. Like religious, charitable, or educational purposes shall be exempt from taxation and Aside from the Constitution, there are certain provisions in statutes wherein these two terms, charitable and religious, are dissociated and individually mentioned, like the National Internal Revenue Code and the Local Government Code. Especially, this refers to taxation exemptions. Now, the Supreme Court further stated that the PD-1564 merely stated charitable or public welfare purposes. I've mentioned this in the first part. And religious purpose is not interchangeable with the expression charitable purpose. And the Supreme Court further said, There is no religious purpose which is not also charitable. But... There may be a charitable purpose, but not religious. Okay, you see, you see, this is a very important statement made by the Supreme Court. There is no religious purpose which is not also charitable, but there may be a charitable purpose, but not religious. So remember that. Then the term charitable should be strictly construed so as to exclude. I'm really sorry for that because I'm doing this early in the morning and my apologies. Okay. Um, again, the word charitable should be strictly construed so as to exclude solicit uh, solicitations for religious purposes. Now, the Supreme Court emphasized that all penal legislations should be interpreted that would be favor the accused so in case of um, um penal uh, penal laws or criminal laws the word or uh, the word charitable purpose should not be extended or enlarged by implications intendments analogies or equitable considerations so because that would make a new offense or enlarge the field of crime or multiple felonies which was not in the intention of the legislate uh, legislature now and the supreme court before it ended this decision i'm sorry again <laughs> if and when the statute is ambiguous and admits two reasonable but contradicting constructions that construction which favors the accused is to be preferred because the forbidden acts the forbidden acts must be precisely defined so it must be clear cut because it should not be unfair on the part of the accused that the offense or the act is uh, actually criminal at all without knowing what are the elements even or what's the coverage of that criminal act now the word charitable is a matter is a matter of description rather than of precise definition 
and charitable depends on the facts and the circumstances that is uh, that are involved in the case and lastly the supreme court said that the disjunctive word or indicates and alternative now we go back to what's stated in the statute what's stated in the statute is that wait a moment okay i was looking for the statement as found in the law i think i shared it to you okay there pd again pd 1564 merely stated charitable or public welfare purposes so the word charitable should not be extended or should not be um, interpreted with new color like it would make a new forbidden act so basically mr centino got acquitted because the law or pd 1564 does not require a permit before persons can do solicitations for religious purposes and it's clear that the construction of the uh, chapel in uh, their place is of ch uh, religious purpose now thank you so much and i have to apologize again for that background and although it's very natural here in the philippines okay we thank you for those who liked and followed our facebook page and also those who subscribed to our youtube channel and please don't forget to check our website and it's we are working on it to improve our um, content thank you so much and i hope you look forward to the quiz tomorrow thank you thank you thank you